Hey, another day, something interesting. So I had uh, a company reach out to me uh, like last week because uh, I see me do work on my tow vehicle, the uh, F-150, and they say, hey, we'll send you a uh, OBD2 reader that does scan stuff. Can you try it out? Sure. Uh, so I got it in the mail uh, yesterday, and um, I'm going to unbox it now. It's, it's the same manufacturer as King Bolin, but this one is uh, pre-production for Ford, and only for Ford, for OBD2. And the thing is, with, even with having old cars, you buy something that most of us have something that's been the last 25 years. OBD2 has been around that long. And the Ford one's pretty neat because they have a standalone program called Forescan. I'll show a picture of it, the screen right there. And, and it's actually pretty straightforward on how to change things in your, inside your truck. And it's really cool for your tow vehicle if you want to modify things inside. Because I'm a tinkerer at heart. And that's why I have old cars, because I kind of do things. So I'm going to give this thing a whirl, but we're going to take it out of the box and see uh, what's in there, what it looks like, how it's packed, and, you know, be go uh, use it a little later this week and see how it works compared to the old standby force scan. Okay, let's get to it. So here is the uh, package they sent to me. I haven't even crack the package open. Let's get our handy uh, razor blade. I'm trying to go through here and see what we got. I don't know how many people out there use OBD2 uh, scanners for their cars, but I mean, it's one of the things in life you need to know how to do modern cars. And modern cars, heck, it's still late 90s. All right, so... C Reader Elite F. Oh, interesting. So it has OBD2, Mall, Graphing, Report, Diagnostic Troubleshoots, Feedback, Upgrade, and Multilingual. Ah, but uh, Diana. Oh, let's see. So it's a neat little thing. It's, uh, it's like the size of a phone, four inch LCD. The typical voltage in. Pretty light. Actually, the box is really light. Yeah, 2024 launch, free update. So let's open this thing up and see what we got inside. All right, so let's uh, take here. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, and we got a manual. And what's this? Uh oh. Quick start guide in multiple languages. Really repeat, though. Yeah, Italiano. Oh. What the hell? Oh. That's pretty neat. It just shows you at the system language. Oh, so and there's the user manual. What it can do. So this is made specifically for Fords. Hence why it's the. I believe why it's the Elite F. Don't eat. Don't eat these. So yeah, pretty nice quality. And here's a, here's a charging cable. Oh, USB, USB-C. Well, I guess that's to up do updates. Because it's supposed to have free lifetime updates and all sorts of neat things. Wow, it's pretty neat. Very well packaged, very small. Can't wait to give it a try. All right, well, 
so there it is. It's a, I believe that's their pre-production, the uh, Elite F. So it's made just for Fords. And uh, we're going to test it out and see how it works with uh, programming as compared to Forescan because Forescan is the – God, I have weird lighting. Uh, Force scan is the standard when it comes to doing uh, programming on your Ford. I mean, you do all sorts of neat stuff with it. It's not scary. I mean, actually, Ford's one of the easier ones to program things and change. Like, I changed my start screen. You changed the way the, uh, the, the lighting in there. You can change what's on the screen. You know, how, th how it actually... Uh, if the uh, power outlets, because they turn them off, which if you have a cooler, stinks like an electric cooler. So this is pretty neat. Um, so we'll uh, we'll work on this soon. If you guys uh, have used something like this, comment below. And uh, if you uh, you know got something from this, just like it, subscribe, you know those things. But uh, I really want to hear comments about using any types of things because. I know a lot of us have old cars, but we have new cars too, and it's just kind of, kind of the way it is. It's been twenty something years I've been using OBD two, so it's it's kind of here. All right, but thanks for watching, and uh, as always, take out your old car or something fun because you'll make someone's day, maybe even your own. Catch you down the road.